What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mr. Dell back with another video. This time we are going to be comparing the Beast, the one and only, my PC build that I built myself, the i9-9900K with the 2080 Ti against a new egg pre-built with the i9-10850K and the Asus tough 3080 now you might be asking why are you gonna test those out and compare them because obviously the 3080 is gonna blow it out the water but this is just to get an idea of like the pre-built versus the one that i built which was probably i built it about a year ago but anyway it's just to get a comparison about the two just a disclaimer i am no tech guru just enjoy having high resolutions, high frame rates, and like gaming. So most likely I'm just gonna swap out the 2080 Ti and put in the 3080. If you're here, you most likely know that the 3080 was like impossible to get. It literally sold out in seconds. Yeah, it was it was rough. The only way I could really get it was by ordering my own pre-build from Newegg. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna be comparing my ROG Strix 2080 Ti, as you can see on the screen, right over there, that we don't have it overclocked. We're leaving it stock. We're going to test it. Direct X11, Ultra, Extreme, and 192080, because that's what I'm running right now. As you can see up here in the top right corner, this is the benchmark it will give us our temperatures the graphics that it's actually hitting 2175 that's actually it's really good i mean the, the rg strix is one of the best in my opinion okay so there you have it we got a score of 66 14 with max fps at 566 and an average of 262 not bad but this is 1080 at ultra Okay, so now we want to do the CPU. So we're going to go ahead and test my i9-9900K from my PC build. We want to watch the temperatures of all the cores. I do have eight fans in my PC build. Actually, I have 11 fans because I have the push-pull configuration with the radiator. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and run the CPU. We don't want to do single core. That's going to take forever. So we're just going to go ahead and run. We do have the Cooler Master CPU AIO liquid cooler anything above 85 is not too good it can go up to about 99 degrees celsius we're running eight cores 16 threads for the i9 9900k and the highest we got to was 91 degrees celsius right here it's not too bad you don't want to have you don't want to be running it for that long that's why a lot of people do water cooling so now we're gonna run the benchmark and we're going to overclock it. All right, here we go. We're gonna see if we get a better score than we did before. And now we'll run that. We're starting at a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, so it looks like when we overclocked it, we got a better, obviously we're gonna get a better score. We got a max of 607 max of FPS, score of 68.55, and average at 272 and I think we were hitting 69 degrees Celsius, which is not bad at all. Just keep in mind, this is only 1920 by 1080. There is no real reason to overclock at all, but hey, if you want to, might as well. Might as well. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the new egg pre-built PC. I do not have any capture card in there, so I'm not gonna be able to capture most of it. So I'm gonna have to use my phone to just record it. We'll still get the benchmarks. We'll still get things we need to. So just bear with me. Let's scoot on. It. First, we're gonna go ahead and test it out without overclocking it. This is the OC version, so 1785. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close this out so we don't have anything running. And we can just run this. Unigen at the same levels that we did for i9-9900K PC build. GeForce RTX 3080. It's running at 2100 megahertz. Our temperatures ran a lot lower, I guess, because it's 1080p. We did get a lower score, though. Average FPS is only 201 for 1080p ultra extreme. That is... A little weird for me i don't i'm not too sure why but we're gonna overclock it and see if there's any difference okay so we're gonna try this out and see what score we get and we'll see the temperatures and if we crash hopefully we don't crash we'll go ahead and run the same thing ultra extreme 1080 so now it looks like getting up to 2200 2220 megahertz memory 9700 temperature still looking pretty good the temperatures are good 
only thing is, I'm not sure why we're getting such bad frames. And the score is even worse than the, the 2080 Ti. I mean, I know that the 3080, the 30 series is where you see the difference is when you go up in resolution as opposed to, you know, 1080p. But I would have still thought 1080p with the 3080, you would still get a better score and better frames. Guess I'm wrong. All right, now we got to run the CPU benchmarks. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and run this in a bench. This is for the i9-10850K. This has 10 cores, 20 threads. Uh, this is not overclocked. We're just running the regular CPU, not the single cores. We have our one to 10 cores here for temperatures. We wanna watch the maximum, see how Newegg built the PC if it can withstand. Wow, okay, yeah. We are hitting max on damn near all of the cores. Jesus Christmas. I'm gonna list the parts. They did throw in a very, very cheap CPU cooler. One that I've never even heard of. And this is probably why we're getting really bad uh, temps here. They're all damn near on 99 degrees Celsius. And that is a very dangerous level you do not wanna be in. But as you can see here, we got 97, 94, 99, 99, 99, 98, 95, 95. That's not too good, man. That's not too good. But we did get a good score of, what, 59, 12? I7, 7700K there. Next, what we want to do is swap out this 3080, put it into my PC, and see frames per second that we're getting with games and with the benchmark again as well. Okay guys, so I got some news. I spoke on Reddit to some users. I asked for information because I was thinking even with a 1080p monitor, we should still at least get the same results from the 3080 as the 2080 Ti. We shouldn't get 70 less frames per second. So one of the guys mentioned that if the GPU is daisy chained, it will get less power hence meaning that you would get worse results this is what he meant let's see if i could get a good view on it all right so if you can see right there so what it is is one cable that gets split into two okay boom basically one as you can see this is just one cable that separates into two. So it's like sharing the power. So it's not providing enough power for the GPU. So, Newegg, what are you doing? I mean, we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see exactly if that is why we were getting the poor benchmarks. So we will come back, I will be putting this 3080 into my PC now. All right, so as you guys can see, we put in the RTX 3080. This is without overclocking it. We did not overclock anything. We're not doing that. We're gonna run it stock to see if the PCIe connection has made a difference. So nothing has been changed except swapping the graphics card from the new egg build to my only thing that's been changed. It, my build still has the i9-9900K. So now we want to go ahead and run these benchmarks. So we're going ultra extreme, everything is the same. Now we're benchmarking. The frames are already looking a lot better because we started off with like 200 frames last time. So let's see. <laughs> She's over here sucking my hand. As you can see, we have a baby. Say hello, baby. Hello, baby. <laughs> This is the reason why I haven't been streaming or uploading as much. This little thing. All right, so as you guys can see, we got a much better score. So thank you, Reddit guy. You saved me some troubles because I was actually pretty frustrated thinking that the 2080 Ti was going to run better at 1080p. But that is not the case. You have to just properly set it up and new egg. Come on, man. I expected better from you guys. I mean, you guys gave me a good graphics card, but you set it up wrong. Do not daisy chain your...
your GPU. Thank you.